ranging four cylinders in a premium SUV. Ah. Ladies and gentlemen, everyone, welcome to Range Rover Velar. I could, but I will not. Well, let's hop in and see what this cookie is all about. And there are three reasons why I will not be whinging today. First of all, although yes, it is very lovely to have a V6 or a V8 engine in a premium SUV, the reality is that more and more car manufacturers are starting to put four cylinders in it. The couple of reasons behind it are of course money, demand, I wouldn't be surprised if European Union has got something to do with it, but never mind. Second of all, this SUV has got some punch actually. You put your foot down, this is in a normal mode, you want to get a little bit more punch, you pop it into sport and the responsiveness to your right foot is rather delightful and the sound isn't too bad either. Last but not least, it is called Money Honey. You're looking at some serious savings of a 7,000 Swiss francs, which is more or less an equivalent to the US dollar. That's versus the 3 litre V6. Now they're savings money but there are no savings of power because this one has still got 300 horsepower and the reality is when you're looking for a premium SUV let's be honest you're not really looking for performance I mean this is not your priority unless of course your dream is to get the Range Rover Sport SVR but that's a whole different story the boot space there's plenty of room so that you can carry all the clutter that you need because the reality is when you're buying a premium SUV you're looking for luxury you're looking for comfort you're looking for poshness which is exactly what you're getting with the Velar I mean the suspension here is simply magical as if you're riding on a big luxurious fluffy cushion it absorbs everything you don't feel any bumps you don't feel any imperfections it is absolutely lovely you you know you are relaxed you are chilled because it's very quiet and just so lovely okay the steering is a little bit on the numb side but quite frankly I wouldn't expect anything more and it suits the character of this car perfectly to be honest now what I'm really surprised positively surprised is the handling I mean it's not a small car it's quite a big body yet on curvy roads like this in sport mode it doesn't roll it doesn't wobble all right I wouldn't get that carried away and say that it's really fun to drive but it's quite satisfying when you pop it into sport and you put your foot down on those curvy roads I mean it's, the car is capable about being passenger in the villa well both seats are adjusted for my height which is 170 centimeters 5.6 plenty of leg room good headroom third person mm. unless you don't like somebody then put them right here so the driving dynamics are pretty good but the reality is that Range Rovers are all about luxury and comfort and the Velar is a perfect example of it as soon as you hop into this cabin I mean you're stepping into another world yes Mercedes BMW Audi they all try to beat Range Rovers in terms of luxury and comfort quite frankly yeah you've won many battles Germans but not this one sorry because you know when you look at this cabin for example the space here but you look at the quality of the materials the finishing is just so beautiful the touch the feel the smell is just so lovely in this regard Range Rover is just a winner that's all it is it's a winner life goes on for the lovers. Yeah, life just a pretty face meaning Velar I can go into the deep water of 65 centimeters I also have a grand clearance of 25 centimeters well for whatever shit that you're up to but today is Sunday I've put on a dress I'm not gonna get down and dirty instead I've put myself a seat massage and I'm absolutely loving it so the model I would meet today is P300, a 2.0-litre turbocharged engine which produces 300 horsepower, 400 newton meters of torque. Now 0 to 100 is only actually 6 seconds and the maximum speed is 234 kilometers an hour. Now in Switzerland this car costs 69,000 Swiss francs which is more or less an equivalent to the US dollar. So to give you an idea and just to compare, there's no P300 model available in America but you Yankees have a 3.0-litre 
V6 supercharged gas with 340 horsepower and that costs 61,000. There is also slightly less powerful 2 litre turbocharged with 247 horsepower and that costs just 50,000. Hey, hey USA, uh, thank you very much Europe, you've been very kind. Now that we're speaking about numbers, let's take a look at the petrol consumption of this lovely vehicle. Oh dear. Uh. 14 litres. Yes, it's, it's, it's not little, but let's be honest, uh, Range Rovers have never been famous for their uh, economical fuel consumption. It is what it is. I am thirsty, but I'm luxurious and I'm absolutely lovely. So am I perfect? Well, when it comes to luxury and comfort, the Villa is pretty damn close to perfection. Are there things I do not like about the Villa? Well, the screen. I like these screens. Well, the idea of these screens, because you know, you've got lots of functions here. The system is easy, straightforward to use. You can even use the screens with your gloves, but when the gloves come off, oh dear, things get really messy. I mean, the sticky fingers everywhere. It's just, ooh. I feel like that guy from a, my big fat Greek wedding, that actor that goes with the Windex and keeps cleaning everything because it ju just drives you mad. But other than that, yeah, I absolutely love it. If you've watched my channel before, you know what a soft spot for Range Rovers I do have. I absolutely love these cars. Um, enough said this brings me to the end of this video i'd like to thank you very much for watching i hope you have enjoyed it a big thank you to jaguar land rover switzerland for lending me this car as always i look forward to your comments and your questions only the nice ones not the bad ones don't need criticism i wish you a wonderful day whatever that you're doing and i shall see you all very very soon bye